The Armenian National Committee of Burbank is an organization composed of volunteers taking time away from their family lives, from their personal lives, and from their occupations for the selfless reason of purely giving back to their community. We work to establish relationships with local elected officials, with other local uh, organizations, and community members to ensure that our community is well represented within the city of Burbank. When the Armenian National Committee of America talks about a grassroots organization. This is exactly the type of grassroots that they're talking about. And we have many representatives with us today uh, from the Armenian National Committee of America, the largest and most prominent grassroots advocacy uh, organization for Armenians uh, in the United States. So. Thank you all very much uh, to all the representatives of the ANC who are here for your constant vigilance and fighting for genocide uh, recognition. This is just another chapter in what we're, we've all been working on collectively for. And I think you saw it in some of the comments that were made today on the floor by so many members of the assembly. Uh, who spoke so uh, forcefully about the need for gen the continuing need for genocide recognition and also the need for passage of House Resolution 106. So um, it was a great opportunity, I think, for us to display once again the importance of those things and all of you are being here played a very important role uh, in our having a very successful day. I really think that uh, when I ran two years ago and was successful, uh, a lot of that success can be attributed to members of the Armenian community really coalescing behind myself and, uh, and uh, Debbie, Debbie Kutka, who was the other woman who was uh, elected, and really helping us. Uh, there was a large Armenian turnout, and I think that they really connected with the school board elections because obviously it impacts their children as well. I have this proclamation to present and recognize the Armenian genocide. When I was born in 1987, my father named me Rafi in honor of the first Rafi who perished from our family during the Armenian Genocide. This is the story not only of our family, but also the story of thousands and thousands of other Armenian families. But we keep their memory alive today. We will not forget, never. One day we might forgive, but only after justice has been done to the Armenian people. Thank you very much. I mean, these stories are horrific, but, but so inspiring to see the perseverance of the human spirit. So I'd like to thank the Armenian community for coming out and sharing these stories. It, it's quite painful, uh, but I, I like to hear those sorts of, thi sorts of things so that we don't forget what's happened in the past. After all those wounds that never heal After all those years and the tears that we cry Do you dare? You'll find a place to hide After all damage that we face and after all those years that we waste after all the grief and all that genocide do you think you'll find a place to hide genocide extermination of a race or community by mass murder or by imposing conditions that make survival impossible. Genocide. 1.5 million people murdered at the hands of the Turks. Systematic destruction of a people living under the Ottoman Empire. Deportations. Death marches. 
annihilation, genocide. 93 years ago, our ancestors were marching through the deserts of Derzor. 93 years ago, our grandparents refused to give up what they believe, their religion, their Christianity. 93 years ago, the Armenian people suffered the worst crime imaginable to humanity. Genocide. Ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you today as living proof that the plans and dreams of the perpetrators of the genocide have failed. I stand in front of you here today representing the Armenian youth to inform you that our struggle is long from over. But the spirit of the Armenian youth is willing to fight this struggle and I guarantee you we will prevail. Homeetman is an organization that started 90 years ago and what it uh, was organized for the scouts and the, mostly for the orphans and it gave them a sense of family. That's why today when we talk to each other we call each other Kuiri Akbar. So what we're doing today is we're going to go hiking and that's really emblematic of what Homeetman represents. The Parsatsi Parsatsur Nishanapan can be clearly seen in the hiking metaphor because the older scouts have to climb up, they have to elevate themselves and they have to help the younger scouts, they have to pull them up and with them. Hiking is really a good way for the scouts to feel themselves as part of a group because you cannot leave anyone behind and it, um, it results in group cohesion and once we get up there it's a great sense of um, achievement when the scouts get up there because they feel that they're together and they feel like they've accomplished something as a group and that's part of what Home and Men is. It's to enforce this group values and to do it in an Armenian setting where the youth can come together, spend time together, speak Armenian together, sing songs, play games, go hiking, go camping and that's what Home and Men is about. Well, what do you do with a revolution? How is it that in the United States in 2008, somebody can get up in the state capitol building and spew these kind of lies and expect to be taken seriously? And the reason is because of the people who work in this building. The reason is because the people who work in this building spend their millions in giving campaign contributions to members of the United States Congress. It's because the people in this building spend millions for public relations agencies, professionals who are hired to spread their lies throughout this country. The people in this building pay for academics who come into our universities and corrupt the hallowed halls of education with Turkish studies chairs who spread their lies. That's how they make this acceptable. But my friends, your being here today and letting your voices here tells the people in the, who work in this building that it isn't acceptable. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. As a result of the efforts over the past several years, the Burbank ANC is recognized as one of the most active and accomplished chapters across the country. And the sole reason for those accolades is the effort of every single volunteer.